All right, here we go. This is the beginning of the part two of this uh, Carrera um, track planner. Um, on the last one, I was putting the borders on, and um, so I took the borders off to show what the track looks like. You can see over here, you got over here in this spot over here, it says at the pit lane over here. You can put in buildings here, pit lane, stuff like that on the track, stuff, equipment. Hit that right there and it'll go down. Then here you got your power feed in right there if you put that in. So say if you it's at 5 millimeter right there, I can change that right there. So I'm going to change that to like every 2 millimeters. And then we'll click it on and then you see how the power feeds come on about every, so that's about every 6 feet or so. See how that does that on the track. Total of about 15 of them all. So you just click that off and then you got it there. Now I want to show you how you can do this, get the border on this track all at once. Move it over here to this side over here. And you can see right in here. On this side here, it says shoulder assist. Just click that on and open up. And click all these on right here. One, two, three, four of them right there. And then when you click it right there, watch what happens to the track. When you click, see that right there, you click that on. And then see how the border goes all the way around the whole track so you don't have to do them individually. That makes it a lot easier. So that's pretty cool to do it like that. And then you just go ahead and shut it back down. And then the one underneath it, there's also underneath this track extension right here. So I got this one. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. It's like, um, says you can do, uh, that you do like, um, whatever you want, two, four, six tracks, whatever. So, anyways. So here we got, oh, it looks like I got an opening right here, maybe. I don't know if that's like that. That's weird. Anyways, um, so what you can do, and right here, you see right here, that you can see how it says the length right now, it says like 28 uh, millimeters right now, so that lane 1 and 28.83 and lane 2 is 28.21 millimeters, so it gives you the length of the track. Now if I click on that button right there on that lane, it'll light up, the tr see how I made the red come up in the track right there? If I do number lane number 2 and click that, I went on, see how it's got the blue now, so you can see lanes, that's lane number 2, and the red is lane number 1, see how it does that, and it's got right there. Now also you can see right here, it's moving around right now because of the track right here. You can see where it's got the numbers right here, minus 42. That's because I didn't put in the amount of tracks that I had to use. What you do is you put in the amount of tracks you got, how many straights, how many curves, everything you got in here. And then as it takes, as you use them on there, it will take them off here like it would normally show in the green. It would show plus, you know, 55 straights, whatever I own and can use. And then we use 42. And so, you know, so, but so not, since we t um, didn't put them in there, it's showing them in red minus, but it would be green normally if we put them in there ahead of time so we didn't do that you can do that um you got the power feel like that right there and um so what we could do now is we're gonna save this one and that way we can use it for 3d i don't know what's going on with this thing right here why does that look like that it's so weird i don't understand that i'm good on that I'm good on that anyways um so what we're going to do is we're going to save this one now. So what we do is we're going to go, like I said, like at the top here, if you wanted to, you could put a text in there. You could put, we'll hit right here, insert driver. See how the driver pops up there? So then you just, um, you can do whatever you want with them. You can move them around wherever you want. Stuff like that. Uh, then you drag the track, get him right there. So we'll just leave him there to just show you real quick. Um, then up here at the top. What we do is we want to save this one so we can do it in a 3D. So we'll go up here first over here in the file right here. And it says save. We'll go to this one here. Click that one on right there. And it says save file up here. Okay, we'll click that one. When you do, it's going to pull up. It's going to pull up this right here, this quick save that's in there. You click that one on. And then right here, it's going to have all the tracks that I've saved before. Okay. And now it's going to say right here, the quick save. This is where you put the track at right now for that you want to save to go into the 3D where it says quick saves right here. Uh, six TRK right in there. Any one of those. I probably got tracks in all these. So we'll go like up to 40. I'll click 40 on there. We'll put that one. So it's going in that file right there. And then we'll hit the save like that. And it says it already exists. Do I want to replace it? And I'll say, yeah, because I really don't care what's in there. So that way we get a number 40 there. You can save it like that. Or you can go right here to up here at the top. You can click it on right here at the top. Take a screenshot. What we'll do is we'll, we'll, 
it would go like this and take a screenshot of it. And what it'll do is it'll take a screenshot if you click that on right there. And it'll come up here and then you can just put it in here wherever you want it to go. i am going into quick save again and I just put it in here like under one of these, you know, in there. So we got that. So what we'll do is we'll click this down right now. So we can go to the 3D one. Um, okay, we'll click the 3D one on that I got app on right now. And then we'll go over here in the in the file. And then we'll go to uh, open up here. And we put that one under 40, right? So we'll go over here to number 40. Quick save 40 up here. Right there. Okay, we'll click that one on. We'll open it up. And there it is. There's the track that we just made. So here you go. You can make it big by rolling it up with your mouse right there. There's the guy we had on it. So now it's in the 3D version. So you got it like that. Okay. So you can see him like that right there. And the man on him, the man, you can click him on. You can move him so you can take him, move him wherever you want on the track. We'll put him on that side over there to get him out of our way. And then just click him on and then he'll stay there. The track, you see how you can move the track like that and stuff like that. You can move it around. You can set the height of the track. So it looks like it's like, you know, set at about three feet. See how it's between his waist like that. And then we'll bring it down like that. We'll take this one off. Right over here is where you is where you do all the adjustment on the track. You can see right here, if I hit it off to this side to the right, it moves it to the left. See how it does that? Just the opposite of the way you hit it like that. So it moves it around like that. And you can see it. And you can hit it down here. Push it down there to raise it up. See how that raises it up. This one down. Now see how it moves it around, then this one here might bring it in like that. And that one over here might bring it in like that. So it works like that. When you press this one, it gives you the 3D effect, that one on there. That way you can just grab the track from wherever you want and whip it around. So you can get that angle on it right there. Just say if you wanted it like that, just look at it like that. You could do it like that, whatever you want. And then you go hit that button over there again and change it to back over there. Now you can move it either closer. That way you can move it up back and forth like that, get it right up there. So you can see how it looks. You can see the guy standing over there. So it's all right here. It's all in this gadget right over here. So again, we'll go to the hitter. This one in the left down here at the bottom is the one that puts it in the 3D. So we're we'll gonna just grab the track. And you can just whip it around, move it around. Okay, like that. So what we'll do is we'll we'll change it, we'll do it like that. Get our guy in there. We'll move it around like this. We're going to put the track on the floor, so we'll get it over here. So now I'll take it off the 3D and just move it over in the center. Just push it over, get it up in there where you want to see it. Okay, and then um, now we want to bring it closer. Bring it down a little bit. And now bring it closer up here like that. But we're just using this right here again. Um, now we want to, if you want to go down and run, bring the track up higher. See right here, it says plus on the track height, plus 75, plus 80. See the track going up, plus 90, plus 95, plus 100. That's as high as it goes. And then go down to zero. See how it went down to zero, went all the way down to the floor. See how the guy's standing on the floor like. So you get that good floor view. You can go ahead and grab him if you want. What you do is, um, just click it, cl click him on, right click him on, and then just move, rotate, and pull him forward, pull him up to the track like that, and then click him on again with the right, and hit the sides, you hit the sides, and just roll it forward, back with your mouse to set the size of the guy you want. Once you get him to the size you want, and you just click him on, and there he is, stays in there like that. And you click it on over here on this side of the button right here, and this H, you click that on, and then when you move the track, you move the track, rotate it in different ways too. You click along with the other one at the same time so you get a different kind of effect. See how you get the spinning effect there so I can spin it like that spin the track around like that put it whatever way you want so you put it like that like that now we'll take off those buttons over there again take both of those ones up now we can move the track forward back like that down we'll move it in so we can see it better Move it over to the left so we can get a better look at it. See how it is. So you got to move it up now. So now you got your 3D effect like that. We'll bring it up a little higher so you can bring it up. So you can see it and then we'll bring it in. 
see how that works you bring it in like that so now you can really see the 3d effect on the banks and everything like that like I say then we move it right here to the move it that way over like that now I'll spin it with the 3d so we'll move it up there Can move it like that you get it right there like that real close like that and then take the 3d off and then just move the track wherever you want it to be over to the right and push it away from you like that and you can see it like that that's a, actually that's a pretty high so we can't really see it so what we'll do is we'll just rotate it and we'll just bring it down like that a little bit so now you can see it like that and then I'll take off the 3D and then we can just push it away a little bit so we can see the whole track that way you can look at whatever you want put the 3D on again go ahead and rotate it get it wherever you want okay so that's that now you want to put some buildings on let's get it straight we'll click it on this down here at the bottom it takes off the 3D click it on the right remember right moves it to the left okay get it in the center there now you want to put some buildings on just go ahead and right click your mouse it says create a driver no it says right here create a building at the pit lane we go up pit uh, pit stop lane right there so right there you can see for the pit stop you put your cars in there right there so you can set it like that we'll do another one you go to building on the track grandstand so you got the big grandstand you can put them wherever you want you stick one right up in there go over here again go on the track go to grandstand grab another one right here and then when you're on the grandstand you can right click the grandstand and that would pop up add extension move rotate chain the height whatever and you can add extension on there that way you get another one going like that so that's a nice effect um we'll do another one here so you can see right here create a building on the track grandstand if you wanted to put one on the inside right there so you can see what it looks like like that we'll go over here to the pit again on the track you got a footbridge different kind of bridges you can get so you can grab a bridge see how it looks when you turn it so you can sit there and turn it with your mouse like that and put it on the bridge, put it on wherever you want. And we'll go ahead and just put that one right here. I'm going to put it right here so we can see it. And then just left click it. Boom, it's on the track just like that. Click on again, go to pit lane on the track. You got to catch a foot bridge, grandstand equipment. You go to position tower, uh, mobile tower, lap counter. We'll go position tower. That's the one that keeps the position in your lap. You can put that wherever you want. Just set it here now so you can see it. Click it on there, put it there. Go to create a building again. We go over here to um, press tower. You got that big press tower right there where you can put your cars in there underneath. You click that one and you can set it right in there. You can take it, move it, whatever you want. You can click that one on, left click it on. You can add an extension on. You can move it um, around, whatever you want, or remove it. Just remove the top. That way you only got two. Whatever you want, remove that one. Same way. You only got one, however you want to do, you can go up as high as you want with them, stuff like that. That's all the add-on pieces on the track again. Um, in the pit, rather, the VIP floor right there, that VIP one. Looks like that one right there, see how that looks? You can spin that one around, put it on however you want, the VIP floor. I'll set that one right in there. I'll go ahead and click on another one, see how right here it says new driver if you wanted to put a driver in the pit vip press um pit stop there's press um press tower and here's another pit lane right there you can put one of those on set it right in here you put as many you know whatever you got go over here um we'll go to grandstand again remember those grandstands those are cool you can put those spin them however you want put them on there we'll take one put it over here or we'll put one right here right here and then we'll click it on we'll add an extension we'll click it on you add an extension you probably go up as high as you want I imagine so there's a three tier one um, so that's the stuff you can do with this 3D this auto banner career auto banner 3D you can like I say you can do all that stuff so you can see how the high bank is there's a few other things you can do with this um, actually you can um, you can go over here and get the light the, the uh, level of the track 
how high you want it so if I wanted to click on this right here and do the level I could get that to come up you know like if it was arcing up you know like in a bridge effect if you want to give that for um if you're doing bridges and stuff like that you can do all that down here the pitch the degree of the pitch of the tracks right in here too the the height of the track like I say if you want to go bring the track up see how this one brings it up so it looks like you know you know 40 centimeters off the uh, floor 50 centimeters off the floor and just move it up to wherever you want it to, to be at um, put it all the way down okay so that's it uh, and again you'll probably want to see you know you hit that one on right there on the left side and the bottom that's the one that does all the 3d effects so now you can see how we got stuff in there now let's, let's roll ahead and rotate it and try to do as good as I can see how when you got stuff in there now it looks cool you got the you got the buildings and stuff in there like that you can put all the stuff in there you want Got the guy over there. I'm gonna try to turn this one around here. See how you can move it right there. Get a look at that stuff. I'll spin the track. You can bring it down this way. So you can see all the different angles that you can get it from. You can basically see all the different angles, bring it up, get it to wherever you want it to be, how you want to look at it. Then you can take a picture of it and you can print it out in your printer or whatever you want. And you can save it for next time. That way you can know exactly the one you, the track that you're looking to get. Move it over a little bit. Just roll, just make it a little bit smaller by rotate, um, rolling your mouse. Like I say, you can see what that looks like right there see the guy there check that out you can rotate it right there like that see how that looks like that just by moving your mouse you can rotate that get any kind of angle that you want on it like that that looks pretty good like that so if you want it like that you just move it over here into the middle of the screen and you can take off that background right there the grid in the background so you can see it like that it looks better without the grid on it. So right there you just take that and you would take a screenshot of that. Put in whatever you're gonna put in there. So I just hit your save up there. Now to save it in your uh, pictures. You have that right there saved in you want it. Now you can just go ahead and take it again and just go ahead and rotate it. Move it around, make it look that way. Let's put it down here. Okay, now we'll see how you can say so you can just move it around. Now we'll bring it up. There we go, it's coming up. Bring it this way, a little bit closer in here. So you can see the whole track up in there. So that's it guys, that's the uh, Carrera, they call, they call it the Carrera Auto Ren Bond Planner, something like that, that's how it's pronounced. So, if you guys want to get that one, like I said, you can do all different.